Hello students, in today's video, I'm going to teach you about a particular question which keeps on getting asked and it's an important question. It is about the conventional and the green synthesis of carbonyl. Also, we'll also mention the principle of green chemistry. <music> So firstly, we will look at the solution for it, the conventional route for carbonyl. So carbonyl is prepared on a large scale by treating methyl isocyanide with one naphthol. Now methyl isocyanate, now methyl isocyanate, methyl is the CH3 group and isocyanate with one naphthol. One naphthol is nothing but two benzene rings close to each other. Two benzene rings which are attached to each other. And amine is treated with phosgene to get methyl isocyanate. Carbonyl is produced by treating C. This is how it is. We have NH2 over here. In number one, you have NH2, which is nothing but amine. Then you have Cl, Cl, C double bond O. It gives you C double bond O, C double bond N. And this particular thing again, two benzene rings attached to each other. As I said, the number four is nothing but the naphthene. And an OH is attached to it. And these both club together to form the carbonyl. With using naphthol 1 methyl carbyl chloride, in this route of synthesis, the carbonyl is highly toxic in nature and it gives us a very toxic substance which is known as phosgene. In fact, phosgene is so toxic that even if people smell it for like a few amount of time, they will die. It is lethal in nature, it is fatal in nature. So again, phosgene is something which is not accepted inside the green synthesis of it. This is the reaction of it. You have the naphthalene plus OH attached to it plus C double bond OCl. The NH is the amine CH3 giving us the carbonyl. This is the reaction we have over here. On the arrow, they have given us C double bond O, NH, NH and to that amine, methyl is attached to it. The green root naphthol is treated directly with equal quantity of phosgene it's alkaline medium to get chloroformate which is then treated with methylamine to give carbonyl alternatively. One naphthol is first converted to chloroform which is then treated with methylamine to give us the desired product. So this is what the desired product looks like over here if you see we cannot see phosgene Phosgene, which is not being seen, is a good thing because phosgene is highly toxic in nature. Greener root synthesis is also used, which also exactly uses the same reagent, but these are taken in a different sequence. Hence, the sequence avoids the proportion of methyl isocyanate. Now, it is very important for us to understand that just to have a greener root or just to have a better root, it is not necessary that we should change the raw materials you can keep the same raw materials and yet you can have a greener root or a better root that is something which is important over here they just changed the steps from one step to another step and then they realized that from one step to another step if we flip the steps then it will be easier for us to not have the accumulation of methyl isocyanate or phosgene but use of phosgene and methyl amine is still needs to be avoided. So in this way, we found the two ways. The first one was with the conventional way in which we were getting toxic substances. And the second one was the green way in which we were not getting the toxic substances like phosgene. Thank you.